Run some up. All right. Today, so, me decide for going in depth with a program here. To the program where me I show you the destruction of Jamaica by political party and the foolishness. We start and, 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 and foreign interference. That's why me not, me not, me not, me not fall away. Them politicians here say. Because them take our country after independence and I run it to a wreck. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show some video. I'm going to show some video clip right now. I'm going to show you. Say, when you hear them catch people all the time. This is before we have social media and them things. When them can just come and say things and then them have some other people repeat it. I tell them, say, I don't follow them. It's a garbage and them things there. You know. We study like how you say, like how it's a scientist, have to study certain things to come up with medication and medicine to get the the world better change up some things because you have scientists have study, you have to study what go on. If you don't study what go on, if you don't study what go on in the past, you're not going to carry what go on in the future. Because we're going, we're going, we're going straight out. So. You understand? So I'm going to show back some clip. Let me see the first clip. I'm going to say, in a them time, I'm going to show you. I'm going to go back in, a, in, a, in a the 70s and then come to the 80s. And you want more, I to tell me, which one of them artists, are, whether Shabba, whether Killa, whether who, which one of them, if them they didn't even ban, them they have the both to do the music. So we want to see what really cause the tribalism and the, and the, and, and the, and the kind of wickedness. When, they, when, them, when, them, when them come together and act straight and fling pamba people and mash up a place. See, and then you, them go around and want blame. When they know, Man from overseas are saying in one bag of things, then they come with the next thing and come with the next thing and people are flying. When some man never even born it or some man a little boy never even a DJ or sing yet. You see? When guns at a bus, I'm going to show you politicians now have no art now either because when you look on the video, you know, you're mistaken, you, know, you have to dissect things, you know. You see? Like, like an investigator, you dissect things, eh? I like, like how that type of dissect. Because they never dissect the money, you know, the human body for the one where they You see? In a them time, yeah. I'm going to show you how much you can use around this when you see the two side clash. And you have outside influence. I want to see what I want. And I'm going to play you know, here for myself. Yeah? That's why we have all politicians accountable. We're going make them come tell me no foolishness right now. See? We're not going to work after that. So, which one of them I'm going to show first? Let me see which one of them I want to show first. All right. So, let me see that one. I want you eight minutes. All right. I'm going to show that one here. See? So look at show that one at first. See? Them thing are very interesting, you know, because people have to watch them thing are very interesting. So I could, I could draw up on that one at first. Now, just look on the, the set of people them. Where you see yourself? A fight. Political tribalism. See? And look up on them young youth yeah. You don't know, see them grow up and them most involved in something too, man. Just watch this, watch this. Two other people, of people are cause, yeah? Watch this. See police there make you know. Look at them little bit of youth there. Eh? And woman and things, see eh? See that see some some little baby night there. Eh? And one shot a fire. See it? Look on look on that. See there? See them push up them things. So how small them is? This is what the politics do to you them. Eh? Look them, look on them. All them shouldn't the power road people. Eh? Them things aggrieve me for morning when me watch back the whole of these things. And this is in the 70s. We live through it, you know. But me I'm gonna show me I'm gonna run through some things. Just watch this. Be a father politics, them can't even vote. Most of them were there, so couldn't even vote. Hmm? Mm. Shoot. Shoot up my brother, them. Why kill the other owners? You see this? Front of police. You see it? You hear that? Hmm.
And tell me now, people, well, well, watch this. We're going back before the election in, a, in, a, in a 76. The election, right? And, and, and you tell me now, which DJ will ever do what kind of where they might do. This is what politician care with you. Nobody for say no, the youth them can't depend the road. They say them shoot up brothers. Yeah? And we want to kill back them over there. So. And police are feeling in the middle. And some baby depend the road in this. From them a baby. Eh? Look on this man. Look on this. And the politician them feel good about this. Eh? Hmm? Look on the little youth them. Look at some of them little bit. Hmm? Yeah, downtown Kingston. Hmm? This tribalism and segregation, how much people they met dead man over the years, man. How me feeling of them, man? Eh? Police now say nothing because two sides of course. I saw it, I saw it it's there. Them time of police now have the M16 them yet, you know. That's the panic gun with them have. Mmm. Blue panic little you them. Them join a tribalism and tribal war. That's, yes, yes, general. Eh? And then them want to blame everybody, just look on it. It's there, it's record. It's recorded, it's there. Look on both sides. I'm just looking at the crowd. Look on the little pitney. Some of them, they never have shoes for their foot. Just look at them stay. Look, look on them, you know, so look at them. So you see, at labor time, I'm PMP book up, you know, see there? Some man put up in fist and then raise a ring bed. See, woman has, see there? And see there? People are called by name. They know them one another. See, police are now and them, you know, look at now. Young look at you them. Eh? But politics never see it, it right and say no, them youth are can't depend on the road. Up, up, Philip. Eh? Me can listen to them. Them destroy the place. See there? Yeah, them, that means them out the salary, right? They must say a socialist that, you know. That means the socialist must get shut up. Mmm. Long time this, you see this? Mm -hmm. You see that? Yeah man. Share yeah, Eddie. Yeah man, yeah man. We're gonna play, we're gonna play the world. We're gonna play some things, but them we're gonna just remind them where they might come from. Me can't sit down and listen to politician man. I know so enough of them still in the house same way in a pirate house, you know. Pirate house. Yeah, I'm going to tell you a private house. Just look at the little baby them in the road. If them did have respect, and some of them in the house, see them where. And I feel them picking their own things, see them where them family in the house. And then come and fling them blame. Them time I never have, none of them yet is DJ. Not nah, DJ yet. Now nah, they no gone through this, but this is a reality. See, that's a man there. See, that's a man wounded and thing there. Eh? But a DJ cause this. Yeah, man. Eh? Yeah. Mm. Two men get injured. And them now serve nothing right now. Jamaica get even worse. 
And all them do is go in and fling blame and forget that them start this. This is how them start. Eh? Even if you have outside forces that tell you something, you could have rejected that. Not for earthly people like this. Eh? See it there? Them time the police never have a way bulletproof vest. You never see them thing there. Because the island never saw overrun. Them start up this kind of foolishness. This, I hit a container right now. Just look around them, the clue. Them still alive. That I'm a chopper, you know. And them church tree right for there, you know. See, police are fire shot you now. Because them they can pick the right there, so I'm going to set a fire. This is how them go through. Nice 70s. And come up. Yeah, they come cross. Hmm. Yeah, man. Something leak past something to by a ching. Police, you know, watch out. Yeah, man, I don't the man. Yes, man. Watch it. Hmm? I'm just looking at the crowd. Then the no one gonna wear political cause this thing. Eh? To just get in a power you use for people, them man. And then finger blame all about. Lion power, bless up yourself. See? Alright, so from from a longer time them fling the blame. Cause we're not done with them yet, you know. I just dry it out and show them. When them are fling the blame, this is why I'm not go with them. Do you understand? Let me draw for that one here. Let me draw for that one here. So I could hear that one here now. See? This is why I'm not go with them. Because them take the place and mash up the place and them want to blame who them want to blame. And I say, no, look at some of them little kids. Some of them in them 50s, no man kind of things and fat enough, enough and them things there. Because them are little youth. 76. Yeah? You see me, I say? So some of them in them 50s, no one are canonical kind of things. See? And enough people wait, wait, see this. They're not dead. they still dead about. Them go to who they're dead. What's this? A carnival atmosphere in Jamaica, but this isn't Carnival Week. These government supporters are celebrating victory in the island's recent general elections. For them, this was just a sigh of relief after a very tense and hard-fought campaign. Elections in the Caribbean don't normally arouse world attention. Manley's victory imposed a crushing defeat on the opposition, the Jamaican Labour Party, or JLP. That defeat was largely unexpected, for the JLP had campaigned as a party with every expectation of winning power. Divided country, man. Mm, the pump people, man. Chuck and everything. See it? Leading the fight for the JLP was Edward Siaga finance minister in the JLP administrations that ran Jamaica in the first decade after independence. Siaga claimed that when he left office four years ago, Jamaica had been prosperous, but now it was in debt, and he had no doubt about where to lay the blame. This PLP government has no plan. Now you are in everything that you do in life. Whether you're going to put up a building or you're going to go to your future plan, Despite its name, the JLP represents the island's traditional owners of wealth. 
You hear what, you hear what them say? Remember foreign journalists do this, you know? Say, despite the name, represent wealth. You hear this? I can't buy we out, man. None at all. Because them come together and mash up the whole of Jamaica. Eh? Hear this? The JLP represents the island's traditional owners of wealth. Most Jamaicans saw the election as a choice between conservative and socialist. For Mr. Siaga, the contrast was more extreme. Communists. So you see who bring in the whole communist kind of talk because what Cuba come build a school, so they are communist. But me see the government I work with Cuba right now, same way. You see it? This name divided and rule. This is where it come from. This is before, this is 76, this is before some of them youth were DJ Alban. And some of them are like two and three and four. Eh? <laughs> communists. You see where it spread? Communists. Communism was central to the JLP's campaign. Mm. Mr. Manley rejected it outright. The, the whole thing, the whole communist charge is really a trumped up thing that is used to try to justify and excuse violence and, and up, violence, uh, yeah. Sort of upset and confused. Mm. It's, it's worse than just dishonest. It is really quite vicious. Yeah. the government's victory was Mr. Manley's capturing of the rural vote, which had traditionally gone to the JLP. Okay. Many observers saw this as simply confirming his party's claim to be the natural mouthpiece for Jamaica's working masses. Mm -hmm. Manley describes himself as a democratic socialist who sees capitalism as an evil, though a necessary one. In many countries, he'd be regarded as a moderate, and it's only fairly recently... That you hear what I'm saying? In a many country, him that regards as a moderate. Uncle man, this me respect, man. Come and see two parts of them wobble gone all about, about them business right now. Them that have Jamaican and heart, man. Me I tell you that, man. Hear this. Extremist. One way in which he's attracted the charge is by fostering friendly relations with Cuba. This school, donated by the Castro regime, was opened by Mr. Manley at the height of the campaign. To his opponents, his approval of the project was all the proof they needed that he was planning to lead Jamaica down the Cuban path to revolution. You see it? We just the 90 miles off this. So. And all that them are bring in. If America and Cuba have something to make America stay, you understand? They make over 100 assassination at Tempa for Castro, you know. I'm going to show it one idea. Because we know we used to good, you know. See, that's something that is some politician, you know, about them. <laughs> in his support for the school. He's described it as being conceived in friendship and carried out with love. Love is a word he uses often. He's a devout Christian who believes that his form of socialism is Christianity in action. Yeah, them come on this table as a place, but let me tell you this, let me tell you this, you see, you see, let me tell you this, we'll just cut a little and then we'll go back to that. Um, Anybody can come and destabilize a place. What me I try to show you if you have you have to think for yourself. You have to have a mind of your own. My boy and I go in and get to and I not, not choose the part of me have bread you know up and death and all kind of things, but me stand firm in my belief. So you know them come and destabilize the place because who them go to and then them and mislead the people then for mash up and then make so much our people dead. Our people still are under them. And when they come with them lie and them liar thought and all kind of things, me can't listen to them. You see me, I say? So, me in a mind, me like it, a man in the wilderness, you know. Saying, come in, I follow what they must say, you know. Because I see the destruction of our money, with destruction of our economy and everything. And, and them I say, I do better. I'll do all when you see that go down the path. Yeah? No return. They must say, 2030, yeah, man, and Jamaica, and we still have picked that train. We can't just do my, everything mash up. See? And them want come give a chat. Me not take chat from people, so, man. You can't trick my man. You understand? So I stand up in that one I believe in you know. So all right, watch this. I've just finished watching this. I'm going to play something like here, you know. Just watch this. As far as he's concerned, the Cuban school is simply cooperation for its own sake. And he said that anyone who believes there are always strings to this kind of aid is still caught up in the tired attitudes of the past. 
There is emerging in the third world a new kind of international relationship. Because we have all shared the experience of domination, all third world countries begin with a first commitment to the preservation of their own national sovereignty mm. and to the development of a principle of non-interference in their internal affairs. And that you have to feather because non interference in return and I fear that you have enough people feather by saying all these things. You know, you know it already. Mm. Opinions like that were sweet words indeed for the Cuban ambassador, seen here with Jamaican Foreign Minister Dudley Thompson. How did he rate the school as a link between the two countries? Well, I think it's very important because uh, the way the has been carried out by the workers, we saw a tremendous effort that uh, really can be done only uh, due to the uh, friendly relationship that is between our two countries. A lot, uh, of people, a lot of people have wondered, Mr. Ambassador, whether your being involved in something like a school is only a prelude to being involved internally in Jamaica in a more, in a more political way. Is that, is that right? I completely wrong. It's an honest, it's an honest, honest gift. An honest and sincere gift as between one friendly socialist country and another friendly socialist country. It was an unsolicited gift. And I'll tell you some more. This gift was done by joint Cuban-Jamaican labor three months before time, before schedule, by voluntary labor. And all those machinery you saw over there just now is being left as a gift. The laborers have gone, having left the plan and the training and this school as an answer. Plan and training. Propaganda. Mm. propaganda. Mm. One of the most important aspects of the election has been the violence that's marked the campaign. Listen to violence. The troops have been out in force for months. They've had to be. They have to be. Jamaica's been in a state of emergency since June. And whilst politicians have argued... Hear this. Jamaica in a state of emergency since June. Okay? A six month. And Bob said they lock up in a this and them thing there. And them said barbaric and everything, right? All right. And you still we have state of emergency. Never when you have them kind of thing you are going on, where you have to have something like that. Because the killing, you know, people are going around and kill, kill people. See? In a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a politics. For politics. Because infantration. You don't know the infantration it go. We don't have infantration night now. You still, you know, you lock up people are use SOE for fight. I don't know what they do. Yeah, this. Gunmen have been shooting it out in the streets. Yeah, gunmen are shooting out in the streets. Yeah. Before the emergency, See there? 163 people died in shooting incidents. 163. Because gunmen are shooting out in the street. Like what we have shown before. You see that? Yeah, this. In fewer deaths since, but 11 people were killed in the last two weeks alone. So, when they draw that, you have 11 before the election. You see me, I say? Mm -hmm. The government put appeals on television and radio. You are the government of a put out. Destructive and degrading. See it? Please help in every possible way to make this general election campaign a peaceful one. We, the people of Jamaica, deserve no less. Argument has raged about just who was responsible, but the most damaging allegation was that America's CIA has been deliberately trying to destabilize Jamaica to engineer Manley's downfall. Mm. Dr. Kissinger and former CIA director William Colby have both denied the charge. Yes, it was true. Well, at the release. Causes, the government acted strongly to curb the violence. Since yep. the emergency began in June, over 400 people have been held without trial and special gun courts have dealt with unlicensed arms. So, in them all 400, 400. And look where they're going, it's a widespread thing, but over 400. Just one place on Mobile, they have 600. See? Widespread thing this because, you know, infiltration and all kind of things. And then people still burn it, eh? All right, hear this. The opposition called it dictatorial. Dictatorial, yeah. You hear what name? You hear what the, 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 the state of emergency name? Let me just play it back. Dictatorial. So when you use some word and want to see some things, and you still don't know what I want. All right, play that. Over 400 people have been held without trial. Yes. Special gun courts have dealt with unlicensed arms. The opposition called it Unlice Nam. but the government claimed it was the only way to ensure a reasonably free election. Mm. So them call it dictatorial, eh? Behind the violence.
violence and the purely political arguments. And yes, still when them wall there, them wall them are carry them a gun coat. Them people are get wall right now in a SOE and now gun away at all. Zane, I'm going to hear Jamaica's ahead. economy is in serious trouble. Yeah, this. Jamaicans once wrote poems in praise of the waving sugar cane. Wanna listen this but now? Today, the sugar industry inspires nothing but despondency. Despondency. This cane, Pier one of the island's biggest plantations, mm -hmm. will fetch only a fifth of the price it would have done two years ago. You hear that? Two years ago, I'll be a things, you know. I'll be a things that go on under the, under the thing, you know, for collapse the economy, you know. You understand? But if at them time, and at 76. And did I catch one fifth of the price where that valley two years ago? Right now, we, not, we, we, we can't think wipe out completely. That just shows that Jamaica gone back way completely. Hear this, watch this. Cooperatives were set up in this part of the island to give cane farmers a greater share of the profits. Minimum Hear that? wages were also increased sharply. Minimum wage increased sharply. You want to cane farmer a greater share of the profit. Because you take it from the rich and that cause a bag of things in and they boy your friend with you, by you know. You understand? You must have nothing in a man. And that's what the country I run right now. But profits have almost disappeared in fluctuations of the world market system over which Jamaica has little or no control. World market system here? Yeah. has offered to share its expertise in sugar technology. Cuba. Which should help to improve efficiency. Oh. Apart from that, the government can only sit back and hope that further changes in world conditions will once again make sugar a significant contributor to the economy. This yes. is Jamaica's biggest earner of foreign exchange, bauxite. It's gouged out of huge pits like this, dried, and then processed into alumina before being shipped to North America. So we used to process the alumina before we ship it. We should have alumina and make some other things. The whole of them things are dry up in a man. For the manufacture of aluminium. Yeah. It's all done by North American companies, including such giants as America's Alcoa. Estimates of the value of their investment range as high as a thousand million dollars. The Manly government has imposed heavy taxes on the companies and has moved steadily towards state control of the industry. Yeah, it's state control. Opposition. In practice, government control is still comparatively small, though it has bought all mining land and plans to lease it back to farmers once mining operations are over. Mm. Unfortunately, government participation in the industry has taken place during a bout of world inflation and recession, and that's meant a fall in demand. Some processing plants have been running at less than half their capacity. Processing Revenues plants. paid to the government have suffered accordingly. Future prospects, though, are fairly good. The mm -hmm. industry is expected to pick up quite sharply in 1977. For the ordinary Jamaican, the economic problems have made themselves felt as unemployment and inflation. About a quarter of the workforce is now without a job, and inflation is around 30%. Both developments have hit hardest at the very people the Manly government is most trying to help. A lot's already been done, with the establishment of minimum wage rates and a variety of social reform measures. But a lot more remains to be done. And in speeches since his victory, Mr. Manley has made it clear that he'll use every means at his disposal to give a better deal to Jamaica's poor, such as those who live here in the barren shanty town known as Sufferers Heights. You hear them thing, man? Eh? Me not hear. Mr. Manley. No, no, them are not where you hear. No politician, I tell you, them just going to any maga knows and just have beer past things and be lads and. Lack of people and do all kind of things. No, for talk about the poor and uplift them. Them now have no time for them thing again. You see me, I say? Them now have no time for it. Hear this. Scenes like this are living proof of how Jamaica's people have been betrayed over the centuries by the twin evils of colonialism yeah. and capitalism. Yeah, that... And if helping to redress the balance means turning Jamaica to the left and accepting help from neighbors such as Cuba, then he's quite prepared to do so. That's what I'm saying. And that's why them begs. Afternoon. Whilst the London. poor have been receiving the government's attentions, Jamaica's wealthier citizens have been reassessing their position. Hear that? Thousands of them, especially the well-qualified middle classes, have already left, 
taking their capital and their expertise with them. You hear that? So, them one left now because you, for you look on the poor. Yeah? So, black, them one black out the complete, black out the poor. And no business about the poor. And them do what them want to do. And that we are saying, we are saying build the country. Yeah, them just want to come in and them do what they want to do. And that's it. All right, so I'm going to play, I'm going to play something now from um, Edward Siaga from Inade. After, after him win the general election in 80. And you got to hear the thing. I'm going to play Ronald Reagan too because Ronald Reagan didn't come in 82. See? So I'm going to play, I'm going to play Edward first. Yeah? Play Edward first. Hold on there. See? I don't listen to them. You know why I don't listen to them now? This is what I say. When, when politicians come now and tell we, politicians come and tell we, say, now listen. This is Edward. Yeah, man, want to play this. When politicians want to come and blame and tell me about what they want to tell me, I mean, another foolish sister with them, you know. Definitely, you know, another foolish, a foolish sister, a foolish sister. Say something. Can't play this. But I see us to line up. I'm going to play this. 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 See? So when them come now and them want to blame, and you want to put blame, whether you want to put blame on DJ, or who you want to put blame on, I feel them business that. But me I tell them, say, boy, me know you're not the foolishness. We know, we know you're not, we know that foolishness there. See? That foolishness there? No, sir. No, I grab me. Me burn them. See? Let me hear this. Support that we need for year one, and to a certain extent, for parts of year this two are, and year are. three. This are, this are 1981. The exchange budget for 1981 is to be increased by 27% over last year. With 44% more foreign exchange provided for food imports and 33% more for importation of raw materials. So you see the, the embargo where the, where the debt on it and the world kind of things and the, the outside influence and things now, them start for your finance, yeah, right? You could get in the foreign exchange. You got here. The government of the day I tell us they wanna make them have investment that you can come in and them, you know, tax free. So they could just listen. Confirmation of funds for the closing of the foreign exchange gap for 1981 to 82 came with a pledging of some 350 million US dollars from several donor countries and international institutions and a meeting held in Houston, Jamaica on March 11th. The provision of these funds was contingent on assistance from the International Monetary Fund. On April 22nd, just... ...an agreement totaling some 698 million US dollars. We recall that last November, I indicated that the government had opened discussions with the International Monetary Fund for a three-year extended fund facility arrangement. In a press release on April 1st, I informed the nation that the management of the fund had recommended such an arrangement subject to approval by the fund's executive board. It gives me great pleasure to be able to announce that the board at its meeting on April 13th approved the agreement. And in this connection, I have the honor to table Ministry Paper Number 9 of 1981 containing the relevant documentation. This agreement with the International Monetary Fund has been characterized by me as a positive one. It does not contain any provision for one devaluation of the Jamaican dollar. But it is still devaluation. Yeah. I hear this. 
Yeah, what them can do, it can't do it not contain nothing with the devaluation of Jamaican dollar. The other day it can't contain it, you know. With them using it, saying too much. It free and they make it run free. That's why it moved from 80 and go to where it reach now. The other day them do it. See? So I don't know why they do that. In our country, you know, it's hurt you. You need more Jamaican for buy the US, for buy what you buy, whether medication, whether food, whether water, what you mash up the poor country them not in the Western hemisphere. Don't make no sense to me. <laughs> on public sector employment. Or three, curtailment of specific programs. All these were features of previous agreements between the IMF and the government of Jamaica. Yeah, yeah, all of them was previous agreement because when, when they make the, the, the previous administration go through and them start dumb things and do things, it's uh, infantuate and them put all the whole of these things for mash down Jamaica because you know when the poor rise up. And when you look on the video, the moment you look on the video clip, you see some little youth so and them they on both sides. No, no party, none of them leaders never come and say, listen, we can involve kids. They're not supposed to live on the road. They never, they never, never even adjust it. So me hear some man come and chat out some foolishness. I want to push blame for artists. This is how boy you say this. This is how the things start. This is how it's, it's, it, 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 they're right there. This is the foolishness. Them people who are DJ never even, some of them never even born yet. You understand? But gun and fire and people are dead. See? And lick a picnic involved when they're supposed to even out there. Eh? <laughs> The success of the government in securing both short-term financing and financing for the 1981-82 budget See, in such a short period of budget. time. So, they have borrow budget money for budget. And I bear that them going with. So, we great great grand people still have to pay back money. You understand? If you live within a discipline where you collect, when it, that's what I say, you can't have, you can't have a third world country with some government that live like some first world government in a third world country. But, you understand? One man, all them, them, them bank, bank of Jamaica man, I mean nothing to Jamaica. But you get over 30 million a year. That record to like 200 and something thousand US right now. They get more than Nancy Pelosi right now. Right, right now. Eh, but cash get 93 million, 4,000. 93, 93, 93, 193,400. See, she get US. He might get more than 200,000 US. Is a significant achievement, but Prime Minister Siaga has emphasized that the nation cannot borrow its way out of problems. All right, we seem to have something makes sense. If you cannot borrow your way out of problem, but yes, still them a borrow, borrow, borrow up to today. Day. Must earn our way out of our economic crisis. In order to achieve real growth and development in the country, to create jobs, increase exports, and improve standards of living, there must be a massive injection of capital investment, much of which will have to come from abroad. The new government, in a very short period of time, has succeeded in creating a good climate for new investment. A good rapport has been established with the local private sector, and the government has outlined the dynamic and critical role which this group is expected to play in the drive for economic recovery. The new climate of confidence has also attracted overseas investors. Overseas. From as early as a few weeks after the elections, teams have been arriving in the island to assess the country's investment potential. Indeed, yeah. the response from both local and foreign investors has been very encouraging. <coughs> so you can't see clearly say you have outside influence because you see when them say right investor come back because that was Cuba was them problem. Yes, still Cuba gave the most doctor all just all right now. And nurses and everything. Government I work with them same way. Them are not them are not communists again. You see, that's why I say you can't talk two sides of your mouth. Remember me see them kind of thing. Cuba never mean me now. No. Yes, I say, yes, I say communist and this and the government, even from the 80s, them get things from Russia the same way. 
Them take things. It, 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 it documented. The first 100 days in office, the government, through the Jamaica National Investment Corporation, the JNIC, the single agency designated for registering investment inquiries, yeah. received inquiries involving 114 projects, 47 okay, local and 67 foreign. Valued at 310 million U.S. dollars. Uh, These projects range from garment and furniture manufacturing yeah. to fishing and fishing. cigar manufacturing. Cigar. An example of the interest now being generated is the visit of a group of businessmen from no, Tampa, Florida. They met with the Prime Minister and local private leaders. It was decided to establish a hotline between Kingston and Florida to facilitate the flow of investment inquiries. Prime Minister Siaga has himself been active in securing investment capital for the growth and development of our economy. While on a mission to Washington and New York in early December, right. Mr. Siaga called for the development of a Marshall Plan type approach to the social and economic problems of the Caribbean and Central America. A program similar to that which rehabilitated countries of Western Europe after the Second World War. He pointed out that inflows to this region were presently only 1.3 billion U.S. dollars, and that if this was increased to 3 billion U.S. dollars, it would significantly improve economic and social conditions. One of the significant events having a positive impact on our economy was the visit of Prime Minister Siago to President Reagan in January. Mr. Yeah. Siago had the distinction of being the first head of state to be invited to meet with a new president. After Reagan swear in, he was the first statement them invite. So it showed you clearly, it showed you clearly the whole the whole thing. But a lot of, a lot of life lost, yeah? The president's invitation to the newly elected prime minister emphasized not only the close ties that exist between the two nations, but also the importance Mr. Reagan ascribes to hemisphere relations. Hemisphere relation. That means I just Cuba the problem. I was the problem. Yeah, hemisphere relation. So when you don't know our Cuba, no more problem. Look at our country going down. And look at the Caribbean right now. See? Look at it. Eh? So it never, it, do, it never ever worked while well, I make no sense. Not the first time. The Prime Minister and his wife were formally greeted on the South Lawn by President and Mrs. Reagan, as well as by Vice President and Mrs. George Bush, and Secretary of State and Mrs. Alexander Haig. ceremonies, the two leaders conferred privately. privately. They were then joined by government and business leaders for a state luncheon. There the president paid tribute to his visitor. Friendship and everything, but him just swear in to you know, just swear in, and him said the friendship and everything. What, 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 what kind of friendship it have? That the, he just show you where they going in a Jamaica. You understand me? Just swear in. I tell you about the friendship and what we have and this and that. You just swear in to at the time. <laughs> The Prime Minister in turn acknowledged the importance of the occasion. It has been a great honor for my wife, myself, and my delegation to have been the first invitees of your new administration to Washington on an official visit. As a nation, economically and politically, we are arthritic. 
We have inherited the malady, and it is a malady that is going to take time to cure. Our concept cure, of malady, policy cure. in this matter is one which directs to the possibility of developing greater flows in trade and in finance. Flows that will move enough. capital and technology across the enough. border to the economic development and betterment and mutual betterment of our people. The success of Mr. Siaga's visit here was perhaps best summed up in the words President Reagan had used as he bid farewell to the Prime Minister and his wife following their state luncheon at the White House. And I'm delighted to start off my presidency with his first visit. And I can assure him... So I'm going to start off the presidency. You still have to tell me say the friendship. So what did I tell us? You, you have a country around, you never even swear in yet. You have to swear in at the first visit. Where that show you, it has show, where that, where them that do, that send a signal, say, I send a signal to Cuba and send it to Russia and anything. They said, my you been a Cold War kind of era. You see me, I say, in that space there. And that did happen. Yeah, because you nobody was not a friend. Or you have to friendship and close friendship. You just have swear in. Under the first, somebody you call your, your, your place. So it's a Cold War, did I go on? So they might use we, like, you know? And then look what happened to me now. Look what happened to me. And indeed, all countries that the United States yeah. will continue to respect peaceful political change. Yeah. Change that in this instance offers great hope for freedom. <laughs> freedom. I assured the Prime Minister that he could count on American support for his objectives, especially in his efforts to expand this country's private sector. But we, we expand? We don't have nothing right now. Because after you get used, you get a few, a review, um, um, use, you know, abuse and refuse. What we have? The power man? Eh? Yeah? Mr. Prime Minister, we're honored to have you as America's first foreign minister in our administration. Let me express my personal hope that the first shall not be last. Yeah? And shall not be last, but we're last right now. We're last. <laughs> we're more more than last. You see it? Prime Minister's yeah. meeting with President Reagan achieved the setting up of two high-powered committees, one in the U.S. and the other in Jamaica, to promote the smooth Bless. flow of investment and technology between the two countries. Would yeah. enable us to structure a mechanism which is new. New. A mechanism by which the private sector in the United States would undertake to work together with the private sector in Jamaica. You know where them go work? China. The private sector, them care them business with China. That's why China rise up so because they look on the cheap labor and everything. So we, in, a, in a the Caribbean, yes, after them done with them Cold War thing, we lose. Me not listen to politicians. See? And them for come talk to me. And them want to put them blame and go around, go around when them start the whole of these things right there. Right there. For you see. Or me for listen to them for the development, development of the country economically mm. and to increase the capital transfers that can come yeah. from private flows yeah. on a much larger scale yeah. than any aid flows can accomplish. And any aid flow, that means it's that they hand, they hand to out and hand out. We don't really have capital for where flow are coming in. Where the flow there? Wait there. Use your fight cold war and then what happened? And say the private sector, them that work with our private sector are bringing things and we expect this. Them go to China. That's why China buys so much. Them carry all of them company and everything. We just send in the backyard. We are we not the Americas. The whole of the whole of we you see that I call Europe of the war. And when them done, them buy you know. A Germany are the richest pan the black. You know, go Google it. Are the richest pan the black in a Europe. See? And yes, they mash up one one, them come, them the destroy Germany and X them out. Them build back the whole thing. See? And, and look what them do, them build back the whole of them set. Yes, so them strong. Look on we in the Caribbean, some little island. And, and, you know, like, you have a number one country, we talk to America, and a number one country, they should look on them more, man, and, you know, stop the gun flow. Because no, no, no Prime Minister I want to talk to them. Stop, I want to make the gun, them, man. Stop the flow and the bullet and them thing. They only can. You understand? And then take the place like a phone or place then. Kinda on the backyard, anything go bad, it go bad in a food no country, whether Mexico, whether Jamaica, when you understand? And make a build up in the West. Like over Europe, build up on them thing. They come on no man. 
When you go over there, so no, we not, we not zigzag with China. If we build up the West, in, in, in the West, I'll never look up here. So we don't have zigzag with we. We don't have a build up warship and them thing there. Eh? You don't have build up one, 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 one party country, dictatorship country. Come on, man. And at the same time, to increase the transfer of technology that can come from private sources. So where the technology there? You see it because you see the motor and the bag of gas win and them thing there. I will lose a, a, a beer blood blood run for this. I will weigh up. Eh? Shortly after Prime Minister Siaga's return, the U.S. Business Committee on Jamaica was announced. It was headed yeah. by Mr. David Rockefeller, chairman of Chase Manhattan Bank. And the members of this committee include heads of some of the largest corporations of the U.S., Exxon, Alcoa, Kaiser, to name a few. The Prime Minister's Committee on Foreign Investment and Employment is headed by Mr. Carlton Alexander, former president of the private sector organization of Jamaica and the chief executive of the Grace Kennedy Group of Companies. Long time, Grace. I go, go on, go on there, you know. The two committees <laughs> held their first meeting on Friday, March 6th at Jamaica House in Kingston. If you look at Ireland, there's a handful and, and them big company, they have me, Jamaica, no go. Jamaica, the rise right now. Because I see in America, them when them find Ireland, I saw their way behind them thing, they look at them rise. Right now, I see them a bill. I think I saw their way, but the biggest hotel around 10,000 room hotel. We can accommodate like 30,000 people. Right now. We don't go Google it and check it out. See? Right now. It was a desert in a, in a 1930. No history, you know. And you see them have them island thing and them show more respect than the people them are living in the West. Yeah, so. Come on. Use we fight Cold War and then do what? And your political parties them sell we out and do all kind of things. Lick a picture them on the road. Yeah? And I, and I fight for what? Show all fish and things. Them, them couldn't even vote. And I get gunshot too. Eh? And then you want to paint and tell me about artists and some artists are going to let them eat that. Me do this and that. Come on, no, no, where we do need that thing? I think I hear that. And you know why some of them talk to because they don't realize that not everybody do music just big and full fool, say, you know. And just follow what I say, you know. I only can't lead that straight. Can't lead me that straight, man. I live through this. You understand? You understand? Them no understand. See? All of the investment and all of the things we promise it there, and the country rise up after this. See, we never ever rise up. Eh? I rise up and turn, you know, at the world power. Mr. Rockefeller observed yeah, that Jamaica held great potential for development and promised the full support of his committee in assisting Jamaica. So with the support there, look for our place now. I just fight cold war. You think we are that? You see it? Eh? It was decided that the two committees are to split up in subcommittees for work in special areas. Yeah. And that they are to meet from time to time to determine areas for investment and investors most suitable for participation. Sorry. Both teams will do the necessary background studies to expedite the flow of investment. The Jamaican sure. National Investment Corporation is to be the Jamaican Secretariat to work with the Secretariat of the U.S. Businessmen's Committee. So we get all the nice promises, we get all the nice promises, them and everything, you know. But look on Jamaica now, look over Dala. It's dead! Eh? We betray, we sell out. We sell, you know, we have, we have leaders that sell we out and betray the people, then. Yeah, for what? visit to Washington also resulted in a boost for the tourist industry. Yeah. In meetings with President Reagan, it was agreed that there would be an amendment to the U.S. Jamaica Taxation Treaty to allow business Jamaica. conventions coming to Jamaica to get tax relief. Let me just rewind back. I me not get no tax relief. You hear what I'm doing? You know, business were coming to Jamaica. Forget what? Let me listen again. Of business conventions coming to Jamaica to get tax relief for their stay here. Them get tax relief for them stay here. So what can I be? You have a little country like this. Come on, man. You don't sign anything for get tax relief for. If you have been up a country, you want them come and them get tax relief? Them serious, man. You see me I talk about, so, you know, them, them I tell you something and it don't make no sense. Me hear it. So I have to rewind. <laughs> 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 
to allow business conventions coming to Jamaica to get tax relief for their stay here. This is now before the U.S. Senate for approval. Yeah, yeah. the government seeks to attract foreign capital, it is recognized that we must make sure that these resources are put to work effectively. We must ensure that mismanagement and waste do not take place. It not take place. All right, not take place. Petro jam on them. I know people are not even prison yet. You see it? Eh? In just three months of operation, the government reduced the gap in our fiscal budget by 70 million Jamaican dollars and is looking at ways to further reduce this deficit, which in 1980 to 81 is 240 million dollars. The so goal is to so eliminate so this over a three-year period by imposing tough measures, tough including measures. the ending of waste of public funds, tighter controls of expenditure, and improved revenue collection. So just revenue collection and stop with public funds and but them still can't them continue the same way. See? So we get used booze and spit out and all kind of thing. I'm gonna show you so we get you straight. Let me show you something. We're gonna we go flick to this. Flick to this. Cause we get we get used big time, you know. You understand? We get you big time. I invite you to join with me in the loyal toast. This was the visit to the 1982. This is a visit to the 1982 President Reagan. Courage General Gaspar, Governor General of All right, so let me say, I can't pass the. I can't pass the anthem. I can't pass the anthem, Nick. Yeah, pass the anthem, right? Yeah. Yeah, let me just pass it because I'm going to go to some speech, you know. I'm going to pass the anthem because, you know, I'm going to go down there, you know, yeah, man. The Queen. 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 I'm going to pass a one here. You understand? So we get used and spit out and, and then politicians mash up a place and they want to blame, blame, blame. We don't, we don't take blame game, man. You, know, you understand? The other day, them come, they might blame some other man with their foreign and them are sending the gun. You know, they don't blame where they're going to come from. Talk to the same like how them use where and fight Cold War for nothing at all. Yeah, when we get to the doctor from Cuba now, them are not communists. And then they know we ask people to fight COVID and do all kind of things right now and the nurse them. They're not communists again. You see me, I said, we're going to talk two sides and I'm out, man. I mean, I never forgot nothing, man. See? Yeah, man. Just hear that speech. I'm going to hear that speech. I'm sure you say, I call one of them that fight with me, you know? Come up, come up. Grassboro, come up. Yeah, man, so them. So over the years, we get used. And when we get used, no, no for them DJ, them name is that DJ, to be accepted and dance our music. Edward Siago, Prime Minister of Jamaica, and Mrs. Siago. Our distinguished guests of honor, the President of the United States of America, Mr. Ronald Reagan and Mrs. Reagan. I know all of this was a cool one. Hugh Scherer, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs and Trade. Secretary, Deputy Secretary, State, man. Walter Stiesel, and Mrs. Stiesel. Bless up, Daniel. Bless up, bless up. Honorable if we go into some history, I know. Government, President of the Senate. History 
is being very kind to us in Jamaica by having them visit us at this time. History. And look at Jamaica, look at the state of Jamaica now. It is as if fate had decreed that I should have the pleasurable opportunity of presiding over these proceedings. I am naturally very happy and proud to do so. I would wish you, Mr. President and Mrs. Reagan, to know that we welcome you with open arms to this island home of ours with the warm, friendly spirit of all Jamaica to all America. We are very much aware of the ties of friendship that have existed. You say the friendship, because the friendship really has existed like that Jamaica that built up by this. The people really have, it's, just, it's not even like big like one of the state them. You understand? So, you know, Brooklyn and, and Jamaica are one of the same kind of population or something. You see? So, I know, like, we have interest. If we have the interest, we lose the interest again. And we... I'm going to pass on my name. I'm going to go to Reagan. You understand? So, you see, I'm going to sit down and listen to politicians and them foolishness. And some guy pint on them fingers and talk all kind of little things. Foolishness. And some man follow them because you follow a party. I'm not in a party for morning. You understand? I sit down and watch them destroy my country. You understand me? You know them, man? Belongs to the right. No, oh, you go on, go on, go on, um, um, Fraser. You know, no. Long chatting with you right now. Why are you here? Me just see you again, right now. Excellency, Sir Flores of Glasspool and Lady Glasspool. Who is this? Mr. Siaga. President Ronald Reagan and Mrs. Reagan, Right Honorable Hugh Shearer, Deputy Prime Minister, Honorable Ministers of Government, Your Excellencies, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. It was but a little more than a year ago that myself and my wife, Mitzi, had the pleasure of being guests of our distinguished guests, President Ronald Reagan and his wife in Washington. It was the occasion of myself and my wife being invited to be the first official guests of the then new government of the United States. So that alone give you the whole clue. When them have in a denial about CIA and thing, denial. Just a going and master friendship and thing, just a swearing. That have an all. That have any. And then invite you. Can you have one bag of your leaders? But that, because we have cold war, uh, gg, gg, gg. You say book, bap, bap, and you know, it's just a just, just, just show. But for us, build up the country, no business boy, you. when that cool off and everything, see there we go. You see what we're there? Eh? And I can. I wonder about what we get out of that. I'm going to blood run. That we hoped that the day would come very soon when we would have the opportunity of reciprocating the hospitality that we received in Washington. It is our great pleasure today to welcome President Reagan and Mrs. Reagan and their distinguished delegation to Jamaica All right, so and to have the opportunity of reciprocating that hospitality. All right, so I'm passing because I'm talking, I'm going to go down to the man himself. I'm going to go down to the man himself. All right. We said we can go down to the man himself. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, man. Go down there, don't you? The man himself, girl. If you want to go down there to the man himself, you know. Can I make a name? See me, I say. Okay. 
take too long. But I'll try to show you. Them use them to fight a cold war. Go people them dead out and all kind of things. And what happened to Jamaica now? Jamaica, we don't have nothing. Everything move off. I go after Caribbean. I go across in China. If the world of them big company there, you think them busy boy? you? Mm, they go into China. And, and uh, over the much years, they never see the China build up because, you know, you get three late, um, some cheap labor down there and everything. And over the years, it did and it and it spread up. See? And get up what we get. And more and more arms are coming to our place. Back even in the 70s, if we look at the police, them, so it's an SLR. Yeah, and, and the police, them have some, like some two or three rifle about and some Uzi. And some 38. Look how them arm up the police. Them arms up the police. See? And, and turn it like in a military, a military squad going with them. So they might, they might get rid of public certain ways. And them do all kind of things. And, and, and them say about them do one bag of investment in a little tiny island. We're supposed to step on top of the world now. What were they? Hmm? Be the key that thing go on. Being very kind is. to us. Pass. We could pass a man. We're not pass a man. Pass a man. See me I say? Be the key that thing go on. Over the years. See me I say? Let me hear this. Let me say for the president. Finally, Mr. President, the citizens of El Salvador, honorable minister, seek to separate us. They can separate governments if they may, but they can never separate the people. Yes. Indeed, I'm not alone of this view. Separate us. I, I can go it. back to the founding of the Republic of the In such a situation, America, Mr. Ronald Reagan, to address us. Why are you looking at us? Most Honorable Governor General of Jamaica, Their Excellencies, Sir Florizel and Lady Glasgow, mm. Right Honorable Prime Minister and Mrs. Edward Siaga, mm. the Right Honorable Deputy Prime Minister Hugh Shearer, Honorable Ministers of the Cabinet, distinguished guests, Nancy and I thank you from the bottom of our hearts for the warm and gracious welcome that you've given us here in Jamaica. From the bottom of them and the hours of flying down here today yeah, and seeing some of the many of the islands for the first time and out over the vast blue of the I fly over the island some of them made us I see them for the first time but Jamaica will be the first you invite for the first at the White House and then fly come down quick 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 you may fly out a certain place reach a Jamaica fast don't go show you you know Wait, I just listen, listen, listen to the interview. Listen Caribbean. Speech. It seemed as if we were getting a long way from home. It's very funny, but I feel very much at home. Right it's been said here, and it's true, Mr. Prime Minister, you were the first head of state to visit us in the White House after my inauguration. Yeah, yeah. After from the beginning, I felt a, a special sense of closeness and common purpose with you you never meet the man or you have spend a, a special close and common purpose yeah you just listen to words you know because we say we dissect things you just are inaugurated and you feel a special close and you say close friend we you never even meet the man yet that's a show you where a boy that one in jamaica from when can not go pass off to administration you understand see and there's something for deny it's right there <laughs> Your election was only one week before my own, and we were both given mandates to restore economic health to our respective nations and to secure the freedom which is so dear to us all. So who did have people in the bandage? You had to secure the freedom when they was all. Yeah, yeah? I followed your progress with great interest and admiration. As in my country, there's still much to do. But I congratulate you for the significant accomplishments that you've already made since our last meeting. Yeah. Your courage and optimism have helped turn around a desperate economic situation. Yeah. For the first time in seven years, Jamaica has had real growth. Real growth. When them do some boom and black here, they do all kind of things. You hear? So they want to pull a wheel and then fling back a wheel and do all kind of little things. Yeah? 
And see Jamaica, yes, where Jamaica there? The Its economy and inflation yeah. has been dramatically reduced. Inflation dramatically reduced. They pull string like a puppet and they mash up and left with. You yeah. set your yeah. You have set your country on a course for economic progress by making the hard decisions first and sticking to them. Yeah. And I know from 14 months of experience how difficult that can be. Yeah, it is. In the long run, undeniably, all of us in this hemisphere are tied to the same destiny. destiny. Today, there's a greater common realization of this fact. For us in the United States, observing dedicated men and women only a stone's throw from our shore, striving to better their lives and preserve their freedom. Freedom! So, would I do a speech like this? You come to Jamaica and you have to better and preserve your freedom. So, who take over freedom? Yeah, just listen to it. Yes, it. Cold War speech. Listen. It's dramatic and inspiring. Yeah, it is. We want to do what we can to help as friends and neighbors. So, what the help there? After it done with it there. Yes, it. Yeah, it is. The Caribbean Basin Initiative was presented to the Organization of American States six weeks ago. Six weeks. It is designed to complement the kind of development efforts that you are making here in Jamaica. It is. It is our invitation to you and other Caribbean peoples to join a vast and bountiful market, to participate directly on an independent basis in the most potential and dynamic of our free enterprise system. Free enterprise There are those who would follow another road. Here it is. They rely not on freeing a nation's productive forces, but on usurping them. So, in our country, with a, with a speech, with a, a speech that never even relevant. So, you see, say, you see, say, everything it blend in because that speech is never relevant. You come for come talk about something. We are talking about, we are talking about Cuba. And who are, who are free and all kind of things. You see it? Cool world and use of Swain, don't call the depth of my life, man. See? Do that, the depth of my life. That's for my life, Swain, if you look, man. Yeah? Hold on, hold on there. Uh, yeah, man, so this is how I try to show you them speak, them use way, then speak for you out. You understand? Yeah, them use us and spit we out. See? Yeah, them use we and then them spit we out and that's it. You understand? And 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 we're going. We're going after that. Them want to come down, want to come blame one hour when a political party set up and mash up the whole of Jamaica. When a pick side and mash up Jamaica and then set up and chat bag of crap. Now blame one hour and blame. I think we are idiot. We know we history. And we live to it. Planning has invariably led to economic stagnation and a loss of political freedom. Let me just rewind. Rewind this while. Here it is. The system of Marxist centralized planning Marxist. has invariably led to economic stagnation and a loss of political freedom. A loss of political freedom in our country now. Where, where this come from? That speech I shouldn't even make now show up and show up. And that I just I just reality. That just show them infiltrate who are infiltrate and say all good with them once and civil country, you know. Because when we have your own and them sell out, yeah, you know, stand up because we know we, I don't think if you have no outside interference from nobody, you know, when you when you, when you, when you it's an independent com, um, country, you know. You understand? And them just you know, infantry and mash you up and, and, and they left you. For what? The only Caribbean nation which has totally enveloped itself in Marxism, a philosophy alien to this hemisphere, suffers economic deprivation and political repression. Yeah. Its citizens flee by the thousands at every opportunity. It Y'all come talk to we as Jamaican. Well, we are doing a this and the talking. This are, this, this are just why they show you we are talking, you know. Because that speech I never make food at Jamaica. But everything does stay there because it, it's a cold war. You understand? Mash up our economy and mash you up and then left with. When that done, they mash you up and left with. We're not busy about nothing. And political guys, them line up behind it and go with it 
a mash up a country and then come and chat foolishness about DJ this and DJ. Who never go away with that? Yeah, and risking that? death yeah, that? in the process. Risking death, yeah, that. The expansion of state control is not the road to progress, it's the road to serfdom. And yeah, for every serf, there is a master. Master. Failing yeah. miserably to develop its own economy, the Marxist model in this hemisphere has become totally dependent on a dole handed out by a faraway totalitarian power. See that, I, I, I just cool word speech. You see that, people, you have to just sit down and listen, go to just some cold word speech. And who oh, did the number thing I say, you know, this and that and them joining at this and get put in at this and then the mash up. But they're 150 to nothing at all now. See? Vegan just a swear in and invite the man boom bam bam and say, Oh, you, you win one one week my your election one week before me. And we have a close it. What kind of closeness? Because it does pass on. See? And sit down and mash we up. Look at our country now. We can't even buy a good even have ambulance. Not even ambulance. We not self reliant. You understand? And then when the Prime Minister now come and I do now, is get up and start blame all DJ. And then mash up the place and make people are dead. When you have Cold War fighting our country, you know, build party and use it and fight and help fight Cold War and kill half of people. And that, you, know, you see, people, you know, let me tell you this. You, know, you just sit down and do the research if you don't understand them things, you know. And if you rebuke them and run them, you man. You understand? I want to make them sit down and I tell them the foolishness. And you have some people who are troll, them just jump and just listen with the fool them and say, and just run with it. You understand? There is nobody else. We get up and say, hey, we could, we could try to take up the poor than Michael. I want a business. Care people from film side, not because the PMP side, the way them, them turn coffee and clown. Because them leave out the principle of the man that put in and say, show love and do this and do that. Yesterday, they make a country tell me one thing, but yesterday, China rise. And other country rise. Where, where, where the economical thing, where them say, them, them tie up and them, everybody run, come and say this and that. Eh? What happened to me now? And then our own now, them, them take when I use the same thing with them, them attacks said the barbaric. The same state of emergency for control them from killing all people. With gun we're in we we're, we're, we're flying, we're coming through back door for use for our own people. See? Them same one now say, yeah, we need SOE for the war. We never in them crisis like 76 and 1980. And them crisis there. The youth them are, because it's spring off at this, the youth them are continue to kill themselves. I kill one another because, you know, you did hurt them people from this and it continue to go on, go on, go on and some man just beat another them out. You know, Jamaica beat her. You see the crash with um, the police, them don't you see the crash? You, the first thing you hear, look at my do 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 do. You see the youth with a knife, kill, shoot him, shoot him. Because them just have a, a, a bit mentality about them. Them have just evil, you, you, you can't say no, solve it. Without the blood they draw, I have him forget lock up, lock up or something. Them no business about that. The man said, chop him. The other day before the man chopped the woman on head. That woman there threw something upon the man and the man said, oh, uh, me somebody will like them a video. I said, you don't know, should we stop him? Stop him. Say, Pia that, them not said, no, done. I'm going to one set of video, me see, with some machine man, like taxi man, and the people, them all one another. So, who done it and I call for police. I'm going to them alone. They never said, go and go chop on one another. Did I always say, say police have man in a, in a watch? They must say, shoot him! I'm shoot the man. And then tell lie and DPP, let him go. So they have this kind of evil us art and, you know, we don't know, we don't know where they get it from. And they don't listen to reason. See? So that's why anybody can come buy them out and sell them out and them, them do all kind of things. So much of them, the business. See? We say we need truth and conciliation. Talk to them, get rid of them, 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 them proper, um, them crap of people about them a prime minister and them a dis opposition and the whole them a crap. Them not doing nothing for Jamaica. Them a live like first world government in a third world country. And then point them finger when them can't manage nothing at all. All they need for do you put in things because the youth them need them want to work. Them want all right. You see same like how politics when them all keep meeting. You know, it's some bag of shot now fire when them all keep meeting. And you see politicians can't go in them constituency and one bag of people come out and look up on them. When they may shut a fire, why them not go in there? Them and police go sit down and reason with the youth them. I show them, they make sense to come lock up and want to kill on yourself. And then who, who not dead or go to prison or, or, or family. I reason with them and them things. I'm putting some infrastructure that, you know, create some job for them and make create some factories. Okay, 
export something. We are telling them all the way. Cut up some land and, and, and boots up the 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 eat all grow. Me could me could cut a a a, a bill there, the food bill there. You know, in a in a in a cut half half fight up, up, and buy a year or two. Cut it down to nothing at all, and we start export them food there. Cause yeah, man, banana and them thing that dear thing. I buy the pound, I buy it, you know. A foreign, you know. Much we get feed, nothing at all. See. So you know when America don't know they we don't turn like you know you see them you know freeze on lockdown and all kind of things so you get a little thing everything locked down and gone and mash up so what, what we do we sit down and I follow some little idiot idiot guy where I run where, where I run where I run government and all kind of thing I just be an idiot thing and people are run up and down and I follow them when when we dollar the value there and you have some guy that come tell about no new tax or if it tax a country where majority of the people them never have a job eh. We just put on tax and say, bop, bop, and then you yeah, build a road, you borrow money for build it. Have a great, great, great grand pit now for come pay it back. Not even we are the board to pay it back. So when I do not, when I just, I'm going to take and pay. When, if you collect, me feel say, okay, if you collect a hundred dollars in a tax, I eat for run the government, run everything. You can collect a hundred dollars in a tax, but you spend ten thousand. One hundred dollars collect in a tax, you know, but you spend ten thousand. If you do what you want to do and pay on yourself and do all kind of thing, you don't must bank up the country. All you now do is line up and, and go check, go make them check, go up in them bank account. Them value more than 200 million Jamaican right now. And them pay not give them that. And all of them come for interest, them start a big business, big up yourself, yardy, yardy. Yeah, Yankee, Yankee, big up yourself. See? Taylor, big up yourself. Zane London, big up yourself. See? Them have, them have, every, them have gas station, them have this, them have their mount apartment and everything, and nobody now. Nobody know how it them. And they might say, oh, my business man, you know, making this and that and that. Just listen where them come from. Listen them background and what them used to do. And then ask them, okay, what you do? Because you have other people who are self, who are self building. What do you think? And they're not so rich. Because people don't have the money for just buy it from you. So because you, have, you understand? Where you pay for and what? So, you know, but everybody just get rich all overnight. And the poor get poorer. Me here, they might, they might say a little thing that I met me there and watch them and I'm ready for one day, you know. They might talk about, this is about Anjo. I'm just call the name Anjo. Me and Anjo say about entertainment and give up money and that. I'm not business who want to talk, but I tell you this. If me I travel and travel the world a long time, me if you know what I do with my money and think I wait enough poor people and them thing there. See? And, and even if you have said a little man and thing, you have people who really need this. You have poor people who, when I say hungry, them hungry. And remember, you can't take up 10 grand and give. Not an artist. Ah, nobody boy, you have to come with like a million dollars or something and that and them want to the poor people, they won't have no package for them. So if you take up a million dollar your artist, I'll be a fire, I'll be a fire, I'll fling for you, you know. I'll be a judgment. Because that's that be wickedness. So you know, go tell me, say, I'm on the because what, what, this and that and that. You, you know, I catch somebody and get nobody vote for you and them thing there. Nobody now join you. You understand? When they have some artists like me, we keep neutral. They have some other man who want to vote and want to big enough because they love party because they're going to them are either. They're going to vice out when one party in our They're not vice out, not at all. You understand? We're not business. We have social media now. Because we've done a long time about people. Actually, people, never, because people couldn't hear what you the world because you're, you're going to can't talk on RG or certain things. And them limit you. Now we have one platform. So we're not no chatting on a friend from the guy. No, I'm not from the guy. But if you're not to cook the poor, we really need the needy. And look about them. Yeah? I'm a matter of fact, the government never look about nobody yet. You know, because tell me which country, whether America, whether UK, whether in a Europe, or which one of them country there, you see, because people grew up in the road of white car glass and are steep in a gully. That police and big judge and lawyers take them and abuse them and, and sodomize them and start calling them gully queen. Eh? Which country ever say that? Most of our queer country, Jamaica. Which country ever see them take you to a push under them own strength? Uh, some barefoot a push cart for just make a, a living and you take them and mash them up until they have appear and put a lights up on cart before you allow them. Jamaica. Me not see it nowhere else. So we are go back way and then the, which country you see them, them line up the, the, the police force have just heavy and the tactic. Like when you do people things like people for come worship and wanna put on a face pan, bun and pan, bag and pan, bag juice and all kind of things. For the one, I put on a brand. Like like you not take off what? Sub you man. I take off in a read you man, man. This you not disrespect people. 
See? So when you come and cast and blame me, I say, when I cast and blame me, I have some people. Yes, man, because of this and that, when I, when I eat that, if you look at look at my shoulder, say, when I have that. Some people are chatting on some foolishness. I'm not in a you know. Me not in a hit. This, this is a trail. I'm going to move this. This is a trail. This is which one of them. Let me just put up one trail. One movie trail. Put up some movie trail, that's so. all. See? Because I'm not in a foolishness. I want to I'm not listening to foolishness, you know. I'm not a yes man, you know. I'm not, I'm not the yes man thing there. Not me, not follow that. Let me see which one of the movie trail is. Let me see this. Right, look at look the movie trailer, people. What? All right. All right. So, 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 this is a movie trail. Then I'm going to blow up. In a movie trailer, then blow up. See, eh? All right. Let me stop that. Let me stop that. Yeah, man. In a, in a movie trailer, I blow them blow up. Then blow up the white horse. Yeah, man. Yeah, see? In our movie trailer, yeah, man, see there? Then blew up the White House, see? Then blew it up, see? Yeah, in our movie trail, then blew up, then blew up the White House. You know, your president come and say, all right, when they get attacked from the White House, say, um, because of Hollywood, um, look how much movie you watch. Them get rid of president, them do all kind of things. Them, them have the, the real one, them have, them have documentary about John F.K. Them have the movie, them, them document these things. But it never thought, it never, never come to anybody's mind, you know, them thought to say, yeah, me, me, me attack the, the, the movie industry because of them, I can't do all of them things. Yeah. I know every movie will be a big gun and what you, you, you can't do. And my guy, but all of them TV series and everything. They make it operate around the world, but them call it entertainment. But no, them sing lot, you as Jamaican, or your music. We spread it right across the world the same way. I eat a cars. I eat a cars. The killing. Go on, go on in a Jamaica. I eat make the youth them this and the foolishness. I uno cars them thing ya. Uno cars it uno self. You understand? Uno uno through through the the the, the, the cold war through political I'm all kind of little thing called tribal tribalism, tribal war and all kind of things. And then uno come and pine fingers. Uno not in a country. We think I run in our own country. When I run it down. And then chat fool say so you have some little guys. You know, they might do music. Them just jump on the, the bandwagon. Yeah man, because are we, you know, yeah man, because because what? That's stupid. It's stupid. You understand? Create employment and create enough things and put in certain different things that the country can uplift itself and, and give people the same kind of things. Yeah, give people the same kind of things. Um opportunity. Like when I give foreign investors. Give local investors the trade kind of opportunities. You understand? You can't make some man come in and them not pay nothing. And then we know we, 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 are, we are doing a thing, we have to pay and, and everything all right. Foolishness. This needs to stop. Straight up. You see me I say? There you know. Loan some me up. 